is Sharon Opanibi and I attend Cashalton Beaches Baptist Free Church and I'm going to share with you um, how God has been at work in my life and he's been at work at my work and um, I hope this will be useful for you especially um, the youth of the church that I attend um, and they know me there as Lady S. So um, I'll share something quite recent Prior to the lockdown, I had resigned from my previous employment um, and then I was looking for a new one, which is not the pattern most people would follow. Most people would tend to um, stay where they currently are and whilst hanging on to their um, employment, will be looking for another, actively looking. But not me, no, I resigned, left the job and then started to look. And it's not often the um, the way people would go. So um, it's not always the best approach either. Because it's easier to find a job, strangely enough, whilst you're in a job. But in any case, um, I was trying to find my purpose um, and figure out what exactly it is I really want to be doing. Having left a job where I just felt the company's vision was not in line with mine. And I'd come to a point where I felt like I needed to, to leave and, and pursue something that would um, bring the best out of me and also place me in a place where I would be helping other people to achieve what they want and bring the best versions of themselves to work and be a lot more productive and I felt that was my calling. So I went to do um, a certification in the area of where I felt my job role will be and having got the certificate I started to look for a job. Um, I already had experience, but most companies would prefer you to have a certificate. It was just easier when looking for a job. So it took me six months to then find one. When I did find that job, um, I started, and within a week of beginning and starting this new job, COVID-19 pandemic occurred, and therefore lockdown followed pursuit. So within a week of starting work, we were on lockdown, which meant everybody had to, that could had to work remotely from home. That's something I didn't do often. Anybody who knows me in my previous role knows I don't work from home. Oh, I never did work from home. I chose to be co-located with my team members. I found it a lot more effective. And in the nature of the job I was doing, it was easier uh, because communication, like everybody knows, is... Um, Verbal communication is, is 30% and the rest is 70%. Um, body language and, and other non-verbal cues. So anyway, because I didn't necessarily work from home, I didn't have the need to have internet access. And I was trying to also cut down on my social media um, consumption. But two months before lockdown, I had gone to get internet um connection i haven't had internet connection in my flat for 12 years but i had internet connection two months before lockdown which meant i was able to work from home in my new job so you can imagine i'm starting a new job and fortunately had internet access having had the lockdown i was now able to work from home it was just bizarre having not had access like i said for 12 years but I'm telling you this because I'm talking to you about how God has worked in my life. And events like this just reinforce my faith, knowing how God just uses multiple miracle opportunities to show me how much he loves me, to show me how much he's got my back. And this reminds me of Jeremiah um, the, the one of the books in the Bible, um, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. God says, For I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you. And this was evident of that. And it was um, it was something that still, still surprises and inspires me. And I hope this goes a long way into helping you to develop more in your faith and, um, and uh, have some time to reflect and think of how God can use you for his kingdom growth. I hope this goes a long way to inspire you. Thank you.